الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters about the importance of istiqama of being on firmness on the sunnah being straight practicing Islam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas with thabat ala sunnah ameen ya rabbil alameen qala Allah ta'ala fastaqim kama umirt umirt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and this is from the from an order a command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says then be straight as you were commanded. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what? Has commanded us to be straight, to be on the istiqamah. And al-amr yufid al-wujub, as we've mentioned countless times. That means whenever there's a command in the Quran, in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the asl, the origin of that, that statement uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or from the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that it is an obligation upon us to fulfill unless there's other dalil, other evidences from the Qur'an and the Sunnah to show us that it is not an obligation, that it is mustahab or that it's been abrogated or whatever the case may be to change the nature of that command. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to be straight. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقَالَ تَعَالَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا تَتَّنَزَّلُوا عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ أَلَا تَخَافُوا وَلَا تَحْزُنُوا وَأَبْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُعَدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, في كتاب الكريم, Verily those who say our Lord is Allah, then they are straight, meaning then they practice. Then the angels would descend upon them. The angels descend upon them. They do not be afraid. And do not be saddened. And know and, 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 and glad tidings. They will give glad tidings to Jannah, to paradise that which you were promised. So the one who says, my Lord is Allah, and then they practice, they do the best that they can. They do the best that they can. Fear Allah as much as you can. Then, they will not have fear, and they will not become sad. And they have the promise of Jannah. I wanted to mention many fawaid here, and I think I'll have to break this up because I want to be brief. And I have to talk about this. Because all of us, we become sad from time to time. And all of us, we worry. And we become fearful. And we need the promise of Jannah from Allah Azza wa Jal. So it's upon us to utter that shahada, to declare that Allah is your Lord, the only one worthy of worship. La ilaha illa ant subhanaka inni kuntu min al-balimeen. There is no God worthy of worship except Allah. La ilaha illa ant. There is no God worthy of worship illa ant except ant. Except you. Verily, I am one of the Zalimeen. Verily, I am one of the sinners. Why? Because the one who says that, they know that they're not always on istiqama. La ilaha illa an subhanaka inni kuntum min al-Zalimeen. There is no God worthy of worship except you. Subhanaka. Glory be to you. Inni kuntum min al-Zalimeen. Verily, I was one of the Sinners, the oppressors, those who sin and oppress myself. Valam tu nafsi. I oppress myself. How did you oppress yourself? You oppress yourself with sin. So it's a reminder for us all 
to do our best to be away from sin. So how do we get away from that fear? I fear, we have fear. We fear sometimes other people. We have fear in this day and age, we fear, uh, in, in the UK they just threw acid on, on a brother and his sister. Muslims. Threw acid on their face. Islamophobia, we fear Islamophobia, we fear for our families. We fear, if you live in America, you fear getting shot. Because everywhere there's guns. And there's people who harm the believers. And people who harm you because you're black. And people who kill you. The police kill you because you're black. So we have fear. We fear for our sons. I fear for my sons. My sons are older. I fear for them as young black men, as Muslim. But how? Where do we find this comfort? We find it with Allah Azza wa Jal. We find it by declaring, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the ayat, Inna ladina qalu rabbun Allah, thumma istaqamu. Verily those who say, our Lord is Allah, and then they walk straight, because when you walk crooked, and you get called out, if you're going in the nightclub, the brothers can't help you, because you were out of pocket in the first place. The sister walking around in a miniskirt, we can't help you from Islamophobia, because you already kind of uh, disgraced your Islam. You put your Islam to the side. Not that you're not a Muslim, but you, you showed open sin. You were going into the club in a miniskirt. How can we... And how do you want the protection of Allah? Because you didn't follow. You, you might have said on your tongue, Rabbi Allah. But then you didn't walk straight. You didn't practice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kitab al Kareem, Inna ladina qalu rabbun Allah thumma istaqamu fala khawfun alayhim wala hum yahzunun. أولئك أصحاب الجنة خالدين فيها جزاء بما كانوا يعملون. الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم. Verily those who say our Lord is Allah, then they walk straight, meaning they practice Islam. فلا خوف عليهم. They they don't fear. I mean those are the ones who are really walking straight. Those ones who are really on istiqama, they, they're better than you and I because they're not fearing this stuff in the dunya. They are walking on istiqama. They know that Allah is going to take care of them. They know Allah is going to give them risk. They know Allah is going to help and protect their family. They know Allah has something good in store for them. They're, they're not fearing because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them sakina in their heart. Gives them comfort with iman. Iman, it gives them a comfort. Wallahum yahzunun. And they don't become sad. They're not sad. They're human. They become sad, but they're not immersed in sadness. Because it's iman that protects them. It's iman. Their iman helps them and helps them uh, 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 protect themselves from becoming overly sad killing themselves like the people who commit suicide because they have they've lost they have no iman and they despair they look at their situation their situation is overwhelming to them so they just take their life this happens for muslim muslims as well but these are the Muslims in low Iman. I don't say that people, some people are faced with some horrible situations. There are some Muslim girls, they are abused sexually by their fathers and their brothers and everyone around them abuses them in the most evil and heinous of ways. And then she feels overwhelmed because of his evil and his evil and his sickness and what they did to her. But she can Find comfort in her Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Cry to your Lord. Rabban Allah. Cry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask for his help. And ask for him to help you with istiqama. With, with, with walking straight. With iman. And being on straightness. And don't despair. 
What we learn from these ayat, before we get into hadith, we'll get into hadith in the next sitting, is that al istiqama ala dinillah labud labud fiha min al itidali fi kulli shay. Fala ziyada wala naqsan wala tabdil wala tagheer. So the scholars mentioned that istiqama, being straight on the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, practicing the religion of Islam, is a necessity. Labud. You must. And you must. Labud fiha min al That you must uh, uh, do this with balance. This is beautiful. This is beautiful advice for us because we need this. Labud fiha min al fi kulli shay. That you have to be balanced in everything. Don't be extreme. And don't and, and so then he says, Fala ziyada wala naqsan. Don't be excessive and, and try to walk way up here all the time when you can't keep it up and then you fall all the way down. We've seen it how many countless times. And likewise, don't be way down here with your Iman. Don't be just like boring on the fence between kufr and, 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 and Iman. And between sinfulness and, and, and goodness. Don't just go to the club and smoke weed and then say, you know, yeah, I have Iman and I'm on Iman and I'm, I'm all good. No. But be balanced. Strive. You're going to be weak sometimes, but strive. Strive to get back on track. And may Allah grant us success. Also from these ayat, it is al bushra al azima li ahl al istiqamati fil dunya wal akhirah that it is glad tidings for the people who walk straight on iman in this life as well as the hereafter, and may Allah grant us with that. May Allah grant us success and with istiqamah. Wassalamu alaikum wa